Good day, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Vice Squad. I'm Ryan, your Wednesday host. Um, this week, we're going to tie a peccary bodied caddis. Could probably fish that like a straight dryer as an emerger ish, depending on how you're. Uh, how you're wanting to fish it but uh, in this one I've added a fairly heavy hackle so it definitely would uh, probably ride on the top fairly well in that uh, heavier water quicker water uh, but uh, before we get to that uh, I would like to direct you all to uh, see all of our sponsor stuff which is uh, the Anadrama Supply Company and Fly Life Company you can see all their stuff on uh, fishingandoutdoors.ca for our Canadian customers and .net for our international and U.S. customers. You can find all of their fantastic tools and materials and hooks. Uh, you can find all those on that store. Um, uh, so yeah, on to the fly. Today we're going to use the uh, R7 uh, Barbless Caddis hook, size 12 which we will put in the vise. Like so. And we're gonna use some 70 denier white UTC, which I'm gonna start just a little ways behind the eye of the hook. Probably two eye, eye widths behind. It's just to measure. For me for later that's how i like to then i know that's where i'm going to stop my body so i'll get the thread started and i'm going to wind it part of the way down and i'm going to take before i go all the way down i'm going to take some some extra small gold wire and we're going to capture that on the far side of the hook or your side of the hook and i'm going to wind that down not to the bend you could go all the way if you wanted a longer body fly, but you might uh, cause yourself some issues with hookups while you're fishing. Next for the body, we're gonna use some, this is some olive dyed peccary or javelina. It's a wild pig in the U southern US. Uh, it can be a little difficult to find this stuff. It's, uh, I'm mildly, mostly obsessed with this stuff and uh, I have had to order it from as far away as Italy in the past. Uh, I recently have found it closer to home than that, thankfully. But at any rate, once we get that captured in, we'll tie the tip of that hair in at the bend of the hook. Next, we're just going to make a small tapered body, which will Uncord our thread by spinning it counterclockwise. And we'll just lay some nice flat thread wraps down, just building that taper up. All right, so once we have a little uh, tapered body built, I'm gonna take that hair. Now I've found it easier to turn my vise a little bit and sort of look at the underside of the hook and it helps. I have found it makes it just a little easier to get, whether it's peccary or moose or any other fine material. I've just found it helps it make it easier to get it started and get all the nice touching wraps nice and even. And then as you kind of get up over the top of that hook, you can spin it around. So we'll just carefully wrap our way forward. Doing your best to get those wraps nice and tight together. And when we get to our tie-in point, we'll just wind the thread back to that hair. And throw some nice tight binding wraps in there. And we'll reach in and snip the that end of that hair out. And clean that up a little. Next, we're gonna take our gold wire. 
I'm gonna do the same. Now what I wanna do with the wire is try and lay that wire in between each one of the hair wraps. For filming, I've got my lights turned way down so it doesn't blow the image out. So that makes it a little more difficult, but fortunately with Peccary, the space in between the thread wraps is pretty pretty big, unlike if you're using moose or, or a big coarse elk. So we'll wind that forward. spin that out. Next what I'm going to do is grab my whip finish tool and I'm going to throw just a couple turns in there just to hold that thread nice and I'm going to throw that on my my uh, material or my thread cradle. Next I'm going to grab some bone dry. So there is bone dry. I'm going to put a thin coat of that on that body. Do your best not to overbuild it because it'll just sort of just if it's too heavy it'll just crack and won't last. Just a nice thin even coat will help keep everything together as you're fishing them. light and cure that off. All right, now we'll get our thread back. I'm going to wind that thread right to where the peccary ended. While we're at it, just to make things just a little easier, I'm going to turn that hook up a little bit. Next I've got some uh, bleached cow elk, which I've already stacked. I'm going to set that on there. I'm going to try not to make it go much past the bend of that hook. So we'll get our thread. I'm going to make one complete wrap around the hair and then bring it down onto the hook. Now, if we were going to tie a normal caddis, I would go around the hook a few times, like here, and then I'd wind my way through the head. In this case, I'm going to put a little, run a hackle through there. So what I want to do is make myself a flat spot in here, so I've got some room for the hackle to go through. Go maybe just a little bit more. I just don't want to go so far forward that I don't have room here to tie it off after. So we'll just put some nice tight wraps in there. That'll be a nice, even flat spot for that hackle to be wound around, which we will do now. We'll tie that in. This is sort of a light ginger variant. It was Cree-ish. Not, not true Cree, but close. Had a few dark spots in the stem. So I've gone and I've snipped my hackle off here and I've pulled the stems off, or pulled the barbels off the top side of that. I'm gonna tie that in just underneath the wing on my side. leave the thread just behind the, the butts here and we'll grab that hackle and we'll start whoops 
start winding it forward. I can see I've got one stray elk hair in there, which we'll pull out after. So once we get that full, we'll just take our thread off with a few turns and we'll snip it up. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these butts up and I'm just going to take a few at a time just sort of wind through it. That'll really help bind that wing down so it's not going to move around on us. Try to get them all pointing the right way here. And let's we'll put a few turns underneath there. errant ones I'm not shy to just pluck out. I can see I got just a few hackle fibers trapped in there too which I'm gonna reach in nice and close and snip them out best as I can. All right next I'm gonna take I've got a Copic marker here or an alcohol based marker in black. So I'm just gonna color this thread so we can make a little black head on there. I'll just give it a few seconds just to dry. Then we'll grab our whip finish tool. And we'll just gently pull that elk hair back. And just make a nice little black head there with our whip finish. and tight. Get rid of our thread. Now we'll grab all those butts and get them pointing forward. And snip them off like that and make a nice head. Now, I'm going to, you don't have to, but I'm going to cut all these uh, hackle fibers off the bottom so it'll ride a little closer to the water. Like so. Just like that. You can see I've got a Stuck right in the eye there, a little hair. Clean that out after. Next, a little glue on the knot and you'd be ready to fish it. At any rate, folks, that's our peccary bodied caddis. I love to fish them. I love to tie them. I'm uh, just mildly, mostly obsessed with, with uh, the peccary. Um, but uh, if you're new to the channel, Please hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the bell beside it. You won't miss any of our upcoming content, which there's uh, stuff going on twice a week. Uh, I'm on Wednesdays, and uh, my pal Bryce Miller, he is filming for Sundays. Uh, great guy, great tire. Love his work. Um, and again, you can check out fishingoutdoors.ca for Canadian customers and .net for our uh, international and American friends. Uh, and you can find... Uh, all of our sponsors gears that's uh, anadromas fly company and fly life co on there until next week everyone thanks a bunch really appreciate your support take care